GTA 6 fans feel like they're being trolled once again by Rockstar for what they've just added into Grand Theft Auto Online. We'll be talking about all of that in this video today, as well as all the other bonuses, discounts, sales, and more going on for the entire event in Grand Theft Auto Online. So let's actually begin with how GTA 6 fans feel like they're being trolled here, and it's because Rockstar is giving away a special livery for the Mammoth Avenger. They say claim the pink and green camo Mammoth Avenger livery. Play this week to outfit your airborne base of operations with the rare pink and green camo Mammoth Avenger livery and loom over the city in style. Now, you might just look at this and say, well, that's a pretty ugly camo livery. You won't be able to miss that in the air. Well, a lot of keen-eyed GTA fans have actually noticed that it looks really similar to the start menu for GTA Vice City with the camo background and the pink text when you select on an option or start game or quit game. There's sort of a green box outline. So is this another example of Rockstar trolling the GTA community? We know GTA 6 is out there. We know it's going to be taking place in Vice City. So is this the only way they can kind of say, hey, it's here. You guys are right. It's in Vice City without actually saying those things. At this point, we might just be going full tinfoil hat mode. But Rockstar has lately been using a lot of pink and blue Vice City style coloring for a lot of the different things they give away, whether it be podium cars or vehicles that you can test drive at the Los Santos car meet. I feel like it's not a coincidence. I feel like they have to be doing this. You guys can let me know what you think, though, in those comments down below. Now, as far as the rest of the event week goes, this one is all about flight themed bonuses. They say earn your wings and extra rewards. So the first thing we get to take advantage of is two times money and RP on free mode events and challenges. Ragster says keep an eye out for free mode events and challenges firing this week as aerial activities will pay contestants double rewards for collecting checkpoints, flying under bridges, and more. You also get two times money in RP on the flight school. They said graduate at the top of your class as you navigate through flying lessons at the state of San Andreas flight school down at LSIA. Perfect your landing, stunts, parachute maneuvers, and more as you acquire the skills needed to take control of the skies for two times money in RP this week. Now, in addition to that, it's two times money in RP on stockpile. They say acquire, transport, and defend loot in stockpile, an aeronautical take on capture the flag that ups the stakes of the classic game with two times money in RP. Now, several additional aerial modes are also returning to GTA Online this week, including Drop Zone, Air Force Zero, Air Quota, G-Rating Cold, and G-Rating Hot. So definitely take advantage of that. Now, in addition to that, you get two times money in RP on Junk Energy Skydives. Rockstar says engage in extreme multitasking while free falling through designated checkpoints to earn two times money in RP in Junk Energy Skydive. So a lot of aerial theme stuff going on this week in online, but there's still more ways to make money. As Rockstar says, you can get two times money in RP on the data leaks. They say back on solid ground, Team up with Franklin Clinton and help the legendary Dr. Dre track down his stolen music, wiping out any opposition you encounter along the way to earn two times money in RP for your efforts in the data leaks. And if that wasn't enough, you can get two times money in RP on time trials. Rockstar says race against the ultimate opponents, Father Time and yourself, and this week's standard time trial to earn double reward. So that is quite nice. You will be earning a lot of extra cash this week. So it looks like Rockstar could be gearing up for a new DLC. They typically offer up a lot of great money-making opportunities, and that seems to be what they're doing here this week. So I would take advantage of it. I would store up some of that cash because you know there's going to be a lot of expensive items, whether that be new vehicles or new properties, or whatever the case might be when the new update rolls around. But anyways, let's move on to our vehicle bonuses. Over at Simeon's Premium Deluxe Motorsport, there's five new vehicles to check out, including the Gallivanter Baller ST SUV, the Declasse Gang Burrito Van, the Nagasaki Camara Motorcycle, the Dundreary Virgo Classic Muscle Car, and the Bravado Banshee Sports Car. Then over at Luxury Auto Showroom, two supercars, you've got the Trufate Adder, which is 30% off, and the Pegasi Ignis. 
Then over at the Diamond Casino and Resort, on the podium for one week ending June 7th is the Declasse Drift Tampa. And at the LS Car Meet, you've got three new test rides, the Ubermox Sentinel Classic Sports Car, the Karen Calico GTF, and the Debachi Spectre Sports Car, which is also 30% off. And then your prize ride vehicle this week is the BF Weevil. If you're able to win a Pursuit Series race, for three days in a row, you'll take home this adorable compact that draws inspiration from bygone eras when flare jeans and flower crowns reigned supreme. So that's what's going on as far as your vehicle discounts go. A couple more discounts that you might be interested in. Hangar properties, as well as their upgrades and modifications, are all 20% off. And then you've got the Buckingham Pyro, 20% off. The Volatile, 30% off and the Buckingham Nimbus 30% off. So those are all planes with a little bit of a discount that you can take advantage of this week. And for those that are interested, if you're able to locate the gun van, you can shop from a rotating selection of discounted weapons, including 25% off the precision rifle, 15% off throwables, and 20% off of armor. Now, a couple more things to catch up on. The GTA Plus event period is still going on through June 7th. So you have one more week to take advantage of the benefits and bonuses. Now that is subject to change as we've talked about in previous videos. And if you are on the Xbox Series X or S and PlayStation 5, you have a new HSW time trial. This one will take you between Pacific Bluffs and Mount Gordo. And you've also got a new premium test ride, that being the Grotti Brioso RA. So I really do believe we're getting closer and closer than ever to a new DLC here in GTA Online. I feel like a Newswire article could come out at any moment discussing what we're going to be getting next in online in terms of the next DLC update or content pack. And maybe that's pretty soon, possibly later today, possibly before the end of the week. I'll, of course, be sure to keep you guys posted, but I would love to hear from you in those comments down below on everything we discussed in this video today. Do you think Grand Theft Auto 6 fans are being trolled yet again by Rockstar with the various colors and fonts and different styling that they're doing that all really point to Vice City and the vibes that that era, genre, and game give off? And what do you think of the current GTA Online bonuses? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.